In this video, we're going to answer a simple question. Back when we typed describe table names or describe cats, what's up with this part? What is this null column here in this little table? And why is there two yeses for name and age? So this video is all about null, the concept of null, um, and working with null in SQL. So to start off, let's talk about what null means. Null basically means that the value is unknown. It's SQL's way of saying, I don't know what this is, or there is no specified value. An important note is that it does not mean zero. Some people often think null means zero. It, it doesn't in this context. So to illustrate the significance of these having a yes here, it basically means that these are permitted to be null. It's okay if they have an unknown value. And that's that happens by default. Uh, to illustrate though, that that is the case, Here's a little bit of code. Right now, we could run this command. We have a cats table with name and age, but we could do insert into cats and only specify a name. And in this case, I used Alabama. I'm not sure who names her cat Alabama, but you could probably say who names her cat blue, which is what I named my cat. So we could run this command and age has no specified value. So in fact, let's try it right now. Make some space, insert into cats name whoops values what is this siren alabama just like that we don't get any warnings or anything saying that name or that age is empty nothing like that now if we do select star from cats you'll see that we have a new cat whose name is Alabama, but age is null. And again, that's because we have null as a permitted value, or it's technically not a value, but age is allowed to be null, so is name. So I could do the, the same thing, um, or an even more extreme version, I could run this. Insert into cats, nothing. Values, nothing. And if I did that, take a moment to guess, insert into cats, nothing, values, nothing. What do you think will happen? Let's do a select star. Now we have cat null or name null, age null. So then the question becomes, how do we prevent that? How do we require that name is not null and that age is not null? And the answer is not null. So what we can do is specify when we actually define a table that something, let's say a field like name, is not null. And we use this syntax right here. So here's an example. For a cats2 table, and I'll be using this convention, cats2, cats3. So in a cats2 table, our 2.0 version, when we define it, we would say name is varchar, this time I used 100, but the limit doesn't matter really, followed by not null. So that means that it will not be permitted to be empty. And then age is also an integer, age is an integer who is also not null. So if we try that right now, I'm going to create a table, cats2, and we're going to have, and I'll do this on separate lines, name is varchar100, it's okay, this one you can have longer names, um, and then we'll have not null, followed by age is an int, also not null. We hit enter. Now, let's start off by using describe cats2. This time, under null, for both fields, it says no. So that's one way to tell that these are not allowed to be null. And just to emphasize this, I made a slide. Notice the difference here. So now let's actually put it to the test. Let's try to insert into cats2. And this time we'll only do name and we'll leave off age. And then we'll have values. And name for this one will be Texas, in keeping with the state theme. Okay, what do you think will happen? Insert into cats where age is not allowed to be null, 
but we're not specifying age. So it says query OK. We didn't get an error message, and we got a warning. So let's do show warnings. Warning, field age doesn't have a default value. So what it's telling me is that I left age off. I didn't specify it. So what it was going to do is make it null. But then, oh no, it's not allowed to be null. So I need to go find a default value. And there's not a default value specified. So if we look, and you can probably guess our next, val our next video will be on default values. But if we do select star from cat2, you can see it automatically defined 0. So in the next video, we'll talk about why that happened. Uh, but the way that int works, if it's not allowed to be null, you don't have a default, it's going to be 0. Now let's try the same thing with insert into cat2. And this time, only age is specified. And age will be 7. I get the same query OK. One warning. Show warnings. This time it says field name doesn't have a default value. Let's do our select star. Notice what we get right here. Earlier, see how far back I can go, we had null when we didn't specify a name when we inserted into cats, just regular cats, not cats too. But now when I don't specify a name, it doesn't say null. And this is an empty string. So there's a difference. Null means that there is no value at all. We didn't specify. Empty string is just a type of a varchar that just has nothing in it. So you can think of it as this, basically. Okay, so next we'll talk about how we specify these default values.